Hi, I'm Tanya, and I like visual design. I'm Jordan, and I'm a nerd about data. And usually when we think about data, I saw a few of you recoil as I said that four-letter word. We think about it as bars and circles and lines. Um, and that can be a little off-putting and not quite as inclusive as we'd like it to be. But maybe there's a different way. Some of you may have heard of sketchnoting before. In fact, probably all of you. It's a way of making your thinking visible. Sketchnoting is something that we can actually use to help communicate data to one another. There are experts doing this right now all over the internet. This is a piece by Mona Chalabi. She is a data visualization expert and self-professed TMI queen. And she decided to take some data about the peak month of flu viruses and show it in snot. This is another piece of data, and this is from a data visualization artist named Georgia Lupi, and she decided to show data um, er, on the emotions that she had throughout different months of the year. And so she showed it here with some shapes and, and colors, and I thought it was really interesting. And she also has a co-author of a book called Dear Data, and her name's Stephanie Posovich, and she decided to take some data on her uh, feelings of grumpiness and just map those throughout the month. And they sent postcards back and forth to one another all about how they were feeling throughout the year. And it ended up being this wonderful visualization of what data can look like. So we thought we'd try our hand at it. We would take my passion for data, Tanya's passion for illustration, and we'd combine them into a few visualizations of things that we've data mined from the conference and from your registrations. So first we looked at what divisions you all come from. And so Tanya's done a wonderful illustration. There is 42% of you that identified as elementary school, 21% from high school, 12% from whole school, and 25% from middle school. We also started to visualize what countries you identified you have traveled to us from. And on our second map here, we've also drawn them proportionally. Well, it's Asia and Tanzania. Yeah, yeah um, Tanzania. Yeah, <laughs> Tanzania. We also drew them now proportionally, where Tanya drew them, um, to where you said. So there's a lot of people in this audience that came from China. There are also 81 new to L2 participants this year. Let's give them a round of applause. So in addition to the data that we collected beforehand and decided to draw out, we also thought it might be fun to collect some data during the conference. So for the past day and a half or so, we've been kind of spying on you guys a little bit. Well, mostly Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> but that's whatever, it's fine. It's normal. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing we looked at is how many of you are wearing school swag. And we counted 30 people in the last two days mm -hmm. uh, that are wearing school identifying clothing. Now granted, to be fair, it's, it's mostly NIS because they're hosting. And it's nice stuff. It's nice stuff, yeah. for sure. Also, um, on the first night, you may have seen me counting uh, what you drank at the cocktail mixers. So quickly, tell a neighbor which one you think of these was the most drank at the first cocktail mixer. Red wine, white wine, or beer? Think you got it? Uh, Tanya drew them proportionally to the rankings. <laughs> and you're after my own heart. We are red wine drinkers mainly. Yeah. And then actually Me we too. don't have the, uh, <laughs> the illustration up there, but I think um, soda and water would have been the smallest. It was actually, it's there, you just can't see it. Right. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if any one of you guys knows Jordan, which many of you do, you know that he does like to talk about one thing more than anything else, and that's his hair. So he thought, well, maybe we should collect some data on the amount of times that someone brings out my hair. And really, what happened was that 100% of the time, Jordan brought up his hair, and 0% of the time, everyone else brought up his hair. <laughs> it's fair. It's a real stat. Uh, we also decided to, as our last piece of data, count how many times Hoova was mentioned on stage. Uh, and it was about 15 times uh, over the last few days. Now, in the end, it took a long time to do illustrations, and my hands started to hurt. And Jordan was like, why don't I take some of that drawing off your hands? So I decided to let him have my iPad Pro for the first time, and he did the very last slide. So let's take a look. Pretty good. I think it's pretty equal. It's OK. Yeah. <laughs> I think what this shows is that when we bring our superpowers together, we can amplify student voice. We can explore tough issues like identity and culture. Um, or we could just make data a little fun. Thank you. Thank you.